episode 6 of Rookie Designer Video Tips. My name is Jake Van Ness. In today's episode, we're going to cover InDesign snippets. Let's start with the definition. A snippet is an XML file that fully represents InDesign elements with formatting tags, text, graphic styles, or the XML structure applied to those elements. That's a bit of a difficult definition to understand, but let me show you exactly how this works. I've been working on this project for Adirondack Home and Garden Accents. As you can see, I have a bunch of different photos on here with some text. I'd like to save those as snippets so that I can pull them into a future project fairly easily. To do a snippet, you want to select the item you want to save as a snippet. In this case, I want to save the photo of the wishing well and the text involved as well. Save it as a snippet, you go to File, Export, or a Control-E on PC, or a Command-E on a Mac. This will pop up and ask you to name it. So I'm going to name it Wishing Well. The important thing is under Format, you want to make sure that it's changed to InDesign Snippet and that is a .inds file. Hit save and now just the photo on the text is saved as a snippet on your desktop as you can see right here. You can also drag these elements to your desktop and I'm going to do that with the 8 foot picnic table. And as you can see, it adds a new snippet. It does name it some crazy number and letter combination, but you can rename it so that you know what it is. So now that I have those two snippets, let me show you how I add these to a future project. I have a half sheet advertisement that I've been working on that I want to add these elements to. And basically you can place a snippet the same way you would just place an image. To do that you can go to File, Place, Control D on a PC or Command D on a Mac. Find the snippet that you want to add and you can place it. And as you can see, it's got the drop shadow behind the photo, it's got the photo, the border, and the text all exactly the same way that it was on the previous project. You can also place the 8 foot picnic table. And again, it has all the text, the drop shadow, the border, and the photo. The thing you do want to be careful of is with these photos is you want to make sure that they're still linked. If you were to send a snippet to another designer and you don't have the photo along with that snippet, you would have a problem that it would be looking for the link. Just a tip to, to keep in mind when you're using snippets. So that's pretty much the simple way to look at how snippets work. Thank you for joining me for episode 6 of Rookie Designer Video Tips. If you have a suggestion for a tip in the future, please let me know by emailing me at jake at rookiedesigner.com or visiting our website rookiedesigner.com. You can also find us on Twitter under the name Rookie Designer. Thanks, and see you next time.